Hi there, it's Potmos, and nice of you to join me for another episode with our Ostriff game in our cute little town. There you go, everyone is moving again. Starting off at speed 3 or 2, I'll put it up on speed 3 any moment now, but let's see, let's get started. So we've built this production area, which is good. All the main resources for building structures, etc. are here right now, which means that if we start to develop this whole area, we have those resources close by, so they don't have to walk all the way, which is quite interesting. Uh, but one of the other things I want to do is, as you can see, we have three cart parks here and two there. So we have a lot of carts, but they're spread out very far. So if we, for instance, someone in this house needs a cart to pick up something at the farm, and uh, move it to the granary, for instance, then they have to walk all the way there, get to the cart parking, then go to the farm, and then go to the granary. So... What I've been experimenting with in a, in a game I just played with myself is um, moving these cart parkings all over town so that there's always a cart parking with a few carts close by to the people. That's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to switch out a few cart parkings and build them all around town. So I want to build one here and yeah, probably one somewhere here next to this field. Turn it a bit because that'll look better I think and they'll make sure I'm going to build those right after the weavers workshop they'll make sure that people can always collect a cart now I'm not going to build a whole bunch of new carts because there's four in each so we have 20 carts at the moment just going to delete this one and that one and we can then uh, move the carts to the new uh, cart parkings so keep the same amount of cards. Let's see. No, we don't have to buy and sell anything. We'll keep the same amount of cards, but uh, they'll be more efficient to use. I think that's a good thing. And, well, maybe that's something uh, when you're watching this video, maybe you don't realize it. I'm, I mean, I make these videos. I have a great deal of fun doing that and playing this game. But I also play this game on my own time to just uh, try and experiment with things. And one of the things I tried is placing cart parks all over town. And I think it works, so I'm going to try it in this game as well. And, well, that quite a bit of time goes into just playing these games uh, for myself and just trying things out, see how game mechanics work, etc. So, yeah, that's the thing that... Well, I guess you don't see that just in these videos, but that's the thing I do to try and understand the game even better and, and, and produce nice videos for it. Well, as you can see... Everything is running smoothly, so I'm going to go to speed 3. I'm going to build those cart parkings. And then I'm going to do some more developments concerning food. Now, we have textile production going on right now. I'm going to set it to laborer by cart. So now they can hire people to get a cart and then move towards the farm, collect the hemp, and then make textile out of it. Which is a good thing, because in a cart you can carry a lot more than just by hand. So I think that's a good thing. Alright, well the first cart parking is done, which is this one. So I'm going to move the carts from this one up to the another one. And once all the carts have been moved, we'll destroy that one. We don't need it anymore. And we're going to do the same right here. I'm going to move the carts from uh, probably this one, the one furthest away. And we'll place the carts in there to make sure... Yeah, there it is, it's done that all the carts can be used as efficiently as possible. Now, I'm not 100% sure that this is the best thing to do, but I believe so. And, well, I guess we'll see. But I think it's more efficient if someone needs a cart, they can just get it from their house and then go where they need to go, instead of walking all that way, get the cart and then back. Especially with all the resting time they need. Well, see, those carts are still in use. Are these all gone? Yes, they're all gone. Are they all in there? Yeah, all right. We'll destroy this one. Perfect. Can go away. Two cards move there. So, we'll wait and see what happens there. What I also want to do is... We have two cow sheds at the moment. Which means we have quite a few cows. But I want more cows because they produce milk. And that's a very nice source of food. So... I want to build one cow shed per farm. We have three fields in every farm. So that means there's always one fallow field. And you can put the cows on there. So it doesn't cost you any food or water during the normal season. So yeah, I'm going to build a cow shed with every farm. So let's see. 
Can we build one here? Yes, we can. Let's turn it a little bit so it's facing a little bit more normally. And then we'll see. And I think we need to build another one right here. We don't really have to buy cows, I think. Because of all the cows we already own. We can just switch them around to get a few good bulls. And then make sure that we grow our own stock so we don't have to buy them. And yeah, I'll put it up right there. I think that'll work. Also need housing, of course, so that's one of the things I'm not going to interrupt by just building all these productions building at one go. We also need a lot of people working, so we need a lot of houses. Yep, this one is done as well, so I'm going to destroy that one. Put it somewhere up there. Really easy house. You can mix up the uh, production queue. That's nice. It's really smooth. I know games where you have to destroy everything to get it up all in the right order. And here you can just move things around and they'll do it that way. Which is actually very nice. Alright, they're plowing, they're sowing. Oh, some sowing already done right here. Need a lot of people though. It's always good to have some spare people in your village to help out on the farms. You don't have too many people yet, so... Well, at least not too many spare people. As you can see, there's 75 jobs available right now. 86, so that's crazy. It's safe to say that we might need some extra people for sowing and harvesting season. How are we looking right here? We have a 8-month-old bull and a 5-month-old bull and a newborn bull. And right here we have an 11 and a 9-month-old bull. Well, I'm going to turn these two into oxen and then get an extra plow going. Because there's two fields to be plowed at each farm. So if you have two plows, it's done the fastest. And of course, when you plow the field, it helps you restore all the nutrients, which is good. So that's why I do the plowing. Now, I'm not sure if they entirely balance that correctly and, and everything you want in there is already in the game but yeah even if it's just for historical reasons I'll do that now of course it does take time I mean this field is not growing yet because they still have to sow it but as soon as we get more people available the quicker that'll go so right now this part is already growing for a while and probably here yeah there's a lot of growth we are missing here so that means less uh, less units coming out of the field, but uh, probably in one or two years in this game, we have plenty of people to start sowing at the same time. So the sowing goes really quick, and you get the best thing out of the uh, out of the fields. All right, new houses being built, which is good. Ooh, a good family came in here. A lot of people that can work, and we also have to be aware of that people. Might be jobless for a while. Oh, let's see. Oh, we don't have anything in store, so we need a lot of iron. By a thousand. Do we need anything else? Not really, I guess. Plenty of nails, etc. So that's not an issue. Not going to buy any cows at the moment. And I don't have anything to sell as well. So yeah, this is this is just the way it is. Oh, another house being built. Almost done. Perfect. So yeah, that's that's good. That's going pretty okay. Well, as you can see, they are using these carts, so apparently it's working, or at least I hope. Now I'm going to switch to speed 2, uh, mostly uh, because that's better for my computer. It, the game will run smoother. Of course, everything will go a little bit slower, especially the development. But in my experience, as soon as this city just grows and grows and grows, if you want to m manage everything... Speed isn't everything, so yeah, just a little bit less speed gives you more time to react to things and see things coming. You go really fast and you're just developing and doing stuff, then you might lose track of all of your supplies, whether you have enough of everything or not. Or So yeah, sometimes it's a good thing to make sure that you have the time to respond to things. Ooh, and one of the other things I really want to do is get a few extra fishing dogs. Because that's really nice. Well, can't really build them there, but we can build them right here. So let's do so. Two more fishing docks. I do believe they changed 
somewhat the fishing output and increased it a bit. So I'm going to try if that's true. So with like four or five fishing docks, especially with a rather small village, like 150 people, you can really provide everyone with a good amount of fish. So I'm going to try that and see if it works. But I do think it works that way. So we'll see. Oh, they're building the tailor, which is good. Really can use that. Well, I'd like to think they're using those cards rather okay, so that's a good thing to see. Now here's the carpenter. Maybe we should build an extra carpenter because there's a lot of cards that need maintenance. Maybe they can't maintain... Well, we don't see any cards not working at the moment, so... Yeah, I'm going to keep one for now. If we're going to build an extra one, it will be somewhere here because of all the development we'll be doing that way. Well, things look okay. There's a fallow field. We have two fallow fields here, I think. Yeah, well, I'm just going to build one cow shed there. That's fine. Hard parking is done. Well, at least they're demolishing it. Now they're going to build one of the cow sheds. Probably the one here. Yeah. Alright. Let me check. We have a nine-month-old bull, which is good. Because I believe once they turn one year, they can reproduce. So if you get cows in there as well, they can reproduce. And we have 16 out of 20 right now. So all we need is to switch a bull to a new cow shed and a few cows and they can start to reproduce. Same here. So yeah, that's good. That's good. And we still need a few oxen, so that's fine. Don't mind really getting those bulls in. And I do believe we already... Yeah, we have a slaughterhouse, so as soon as we want we can just slaughter all the bulls that come in that we don't need. Now, I'm totally unclear about how old cows can get. So the further we get in this game it might just be that the older cows at some point will just die of old age or something and I'm, I'm not even sure they put that game mechanic in yet but I think they did so we'll have to wait and see and uh, make sure that we produce enough new cows to to replenish the ones that pass away but we'll have to see those are all interesting things because usually um, when a game is finished probably those mechanics will all be in there but now it's just a big surprise whether it is so we'll find out as soon as we play along. And I intend to keep playing for a while. Alright, we can start to produce clothing. But as you can see, we really need more people. So that'll be the focus for now. Getting a few extra houses going. They're building them right there, so... Perhaps we should go up here for a few more houses. And I'm thinking about changing the direction of the buildings for a change. Just making things a little bit different because everything looks really the same at the moment, so... Let's just do it somewhat like this. Make it four in length. Just make some sort of a different type of street. Alright, well we have to put in a... Water supply, of course, because they all need to drink, and they probably need a market stall on this end. That would be nice. Okay, worker, what should we sell here? Well, probably fish, some flour. What are we selling here? Milk, chicken, eggs, buckwheat. So, yeah, let's sell potatoes and well, maybe sunflower oil. So they have a lot of different types of food they can gather either there or here. So that's a good thing. Now, of course, I don't want this guy working there. So what I need to do is apply this to all. Apply that to all. And now this guy should go and we should wait until we get a woman in there. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Well, that's all looking good. That's a long building queue, but that's fine. Going to... Try and speed 3 for a little while, and then we'll slow down again. But I really need to give credits to the developer of this game. I know it's a Ukrainian guy who started off by himself. I do believe there's a small team working this now, but he's doing a lot of it for himself. 
And he's doing a really good job. I just hope at some point he can really like hire a few people or get a few enthusiast people that know what they're doing because I, I don't know how to code etc so I can't help him to help him develop the game because it's a really fun game and there's a lot of potential in it and I would really like to see it developed even more but we'll see so growing which is good yep yeah. perfect That's all looking smoothly. Ah, he's picking up those two, so now we'll get the extra plow right here. That's a good thing. And the cow shed is complete. That's perfect. We'll use a fellow field. We should put people in there, not men, of course. Ah, the messenger from Merefa is here, but we don't need any of these. Not ready to sell anything, so that's fine. We might at some point start selling some stuff because as you can see like potato well we don't we don't have too much in store but if we look at flour we have a lot of flour in store and not charcoal but they're not buying that so we will sell a few things at some point just not right now and right now they just need to collect everything so food and water and when they do we can the platform right here so they can gather water there as soon as we have enough food in there we can switch a few cow cows around and see what if they can grow the livestock in there let's see do we have oh we have an 11 month year old bull that can go right there and well just put in a few cows. We have 16 in this shed right now, so moving out a few won't hurt. Probably can move a few more cows from here as well. That should work out. Question is, will they bring them all to a field or keep them in there? I'm not sure. Maybe at the end of the month they will switch them out to a field. All I'm hoping right now is that they can make sure that they'll reproduce. And of course give us milk. That'll be great. Well, we still have a lot of open vacancies, so... I'm going to move this cow shed a bit. First want a few more houses. Ah, there they go. Perfect. They're on a fallow field now. So they won't be using any of this, so they can stockpile some more, which is good. And, well, we have 13 here and 14 there, so we can switch out two extra cows, I think. I'm not going to switch to two month old. Oh, well, let's do that one. Yeah, let's do one more. That should do the trick for now. Well, everything is going okay. We're producing clothes, which is very nice. I do want to get a warehouse going, I think. And at some point, we need to start selling clothes. So yeah, I'll put in like two stores where they can start to sell clothing. I'll do this one. I probably should stop selling flour and turn it into clothing. Where it is? Oh, there. And maybe here. Most of these stores are already selling flour. Well, I think we can use another one. Oh, there's just six homes that can go here. Yeah. How much shallow do we have remaining? Oh, we have a bit, so I'm not going to switch to that. Well, they can get closed at one of the market stalls, so that's fine. New family is selling in town, that's good. Extra workers. So that's all looking okay. I do see now that I didn't build any wells in this area. I think we should. But I only want to build them after the houses are done, so I'm going to put them right there in the queue. Finishing those houses is important, especially with harvesting season coming up. We can use all the people we can get. 
I think our chicken copes are doing a very good job finding us with eggs. We even have eggs in store. That means we're not selling every one of them, so that's a good thing. So we have plenty of eggs. Well, this one turned a year old, so let's see if at some point these cows will start to reproduce as well. As soon as there's a newborn, it'll be perfect. We have plenty of bulls right here now. I think a few too many. But maybe we should just slaughter a few bulls. Two more left there. And, well, we have quite a few bulls here as well. So, yeah, let's get rid of a few bulls. I don't want to keep them all. They just take place of a cow. And I really want those cows to produce milk. Because bulls don't produce milk. Right, well, they're ready to harvest. They just need a lot of people coming in to help out with that. Well, they are working, so that's good. Perhaps what we can do, for instance, is get a few people out of here, because, well, we don't need all those people in there. Perhaps take... Ooh, this is good. This is good. This is a good amount of people that's coming to help. Which will make harvesting go really quick. Oh yeah, they've they're hiring people everywhere, so that's good. And I believe we started this episode with around two hundred people, so we're growing in a nice rate, so that's good. Fishers are doing also a good job. Hopefully we can get the other two fisheries going. This one's going rather slow, but it's the one furthest away. And those fields are harvested rather quick because they're small, so that's okay. I'm not going to worry about that. And it's just August, usually in November the snow comes, so I don't really see a problem there. They just need to harvest everything in time, which they have like two months. At least the whole of September and October can be used to harvest, so I think it'll all be fine then. Another house built, which is good. A lot of food coming in. I like it. Yep, there he goes, with a cart, bringing milk. Yeah, we have a newborn bull, so these cows are also reproducing now, which is good. A new family settling in town. That means four new people that can work. So there's a good family coming in. I don't see too many houses being used by people that already live in the village and just pair up and then get into a house. The visitor from Balaika is coming again. Yeah, he keeps coming. Don't know why, because I'm not really ready to sell him anything or we should... Re oh, we have enough flour. So what I can do is tell them right here to stockpile some flour. Like a thousand. And do we have anything else we can really stockpile? I don't think so. Not really at the moment. I mean, there's a lot coming in now, but we have to do to use that within for a year. So we have a lot of buckwheat coming in, as you can see here. Buckwheat harvest is around 1600 still, we have 5400 in store, but we also need that for all our people for a whole year. So don't get blinded by the high numbers you have right now, because that's all you get for a year. So yeah, we'll have to wait and see if that's enough for a whole year. I think it is, but we'll see. So right now I'm not going to sell all that. Ooh, another family settling in. Good. So yeah, we can sell a, a little bit of flour. That's fine. I don't know. What can we get for it? Is there money to be made? Well, a little bit. Let's do a deal. Perfect. Can we... Ooh, we can use iron again. So yeah, let's do that. Well, still a positive number. Still make 60 gold coins. So that's good. I do like this square. And yeah, well, this one is all done with the harvest. 
This one's all done with harvesting. This one is not done yet. And this one's not done yet. So they still can hire quite a few people, but it'll be fine. I think these are, they only need to collect stuff. So that's good. That'll be done rather quick, as you can see. The number of people they need are disappearing, so that's good. Well, I guess this area is done, so let's demolish it. I'm not going to plant a new one. I'm going to not allow them to chop trees there. I want all these trees gone first. And well, we can tell them to chop, to plant a few new trees in this area, like this. They're not allowed to chop them afterwards, because I want all the other trees to go, to go first. And then we'll just have these two fields. We can replant all the time, so that's good. Perfect. It's halfway through October, and most of it is harvested, so that's that's very nice. Are they done? Yes, they're all done. They're probably taking a rest now, all the people that work there. And after that, they'll be hired here and go and finish off this. Yeah, first laborer is coming in. Well, what is clear is that we need a few more people to help out as laborers. So I guess that'll be next to do. Keep building all these houses, that'll be nice. They also want the fishing docks and the cow shed. And there's always a chance that right after harvest, all the people that really worked on the farms are then jobless. And we need to provide them with jobs to make money to provide food for themselves. So it's a bit of a trade-off. But yeah, we can use a few more people. That's fine. And we can always use the seasonal hiring. I'm going to explain that at some point. How that works exactly. But we will use that. So uh, that's a good thing. I do believe we might lose a little bit of harvest right here, because it's already half November. Maybe this is too far away for a lot of people to be hired. That's always an option. Not entirely sure, but that's... that's Oh, they're all hired here. Well, I should probably do it like this. Now they can only use carts, and yet yeah, there they come. Well, that's the thing then. All right. I do like the fact that we have good supplies of most of things. There comes the help. Ooh, this looks good. Now bring it all in before winter starts. Prioritize gathering. Gather all the stuff that's already harvested. I really want that. It looks okay. I think the snow will be coming and then all the fields I think will be cleared. Well, this is the first time, actually, that I didn't manage to collect everything before the snow comes, before winter starts, so we'll see what happens. I'm interested. Really interested to see if everything will just disappear, or... It appears winter is rather late this time. Yeah, the people need to rest, so there's still plenty of stuff that's not being harvested, so we'll see. I think I also need to get the boats ready for the fishing docks. Winter will come, so what will happen? We'll see. Trying to collect everything as fast as they can. Still no snow. I guess the game is helping me out. A lot of people coming in. Everything that's harvested is really good. I like that. This is just... Ha yeah, there. Everything is gone. All right. Well, now we know what happens if the snow comes. The rest of the field all be all just gone and... Really bringing in every anything, so... That's fine. That's fine. Now, let's see. See, now we have a few women out of a job that won the job and... So that's the thing. Ooh, we need a family. Give some aid to a family. Well, we'll give them financial help. We have plenty of money. That's the downside of the economy I chose. Every now and then you need to give a little bit of financial aid to a family. But that's always very cheap, so... It's not really a problem. Alright, they're reproducing there. That's good. Well, I believe we have another cow shed ready. 
So let's put a few people in there. And then collect hay and water. That'll be good. These have two plows. These have two plows. How much oxen do we have that we can use? Well, two almost ready for use. And another two. So we can make two plows for this one before winter is over, I think. That's a good thing. We'll see, we'll see. Everything runs smoothly. We've expanded a bit. We've, well, we've added almost one-fifth of the number of people we have. Fifty people, so that's good. Ah, the visitor from their Karchi is there. This will make us a good deal of money. You need some extra iron again. How many, many metal parts do we have? We have plenty. Anything else we need? Not really. I like it this way. It's very cheap, so that's good. So yeah, let's keep it like this. Perfect. Well, I'm going to slow down to speed one. And thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And, well, next time we will expand even further. Try and start developing this area. Probably build a lot of houses. Maybe some extra food sources. And, of course, manage our cow sheds. So they work efficiently. And then I'm planning on going to a whole new things like... Getting a lime kiln and lime works, or, or working on the shoemaker and the saddlery, those things. I'm going to build a, a whole new set of production, but we'll see. We have to keep the development going, so a lot of houses to be built, etc. So thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.